people sometimes assume that you're a singer-songwriter or just a singer? All the time. (laughs) Usually if you tell someone that you're part of a band, they instantly think you're a singer. And when I first started to play, that used to drive me bananas. It still does (laughs) to me. I remember when I first started to play and I would go up to a group and play and a man would be like, Oh, can I tune that for you, honey? And I'd be like, oh, no. Just walk back over there. Yeah, yeah. Just go over there and, and play your blues or whatever you're doing, <laughs> your pentatonic scale. I've got some things I'm working out over here, you know. I feel like it, it really pushed me in a good way. Like, as much as it was a drag, I the beginning of my obsession with music had everything to do with, like, sadly, proving that I could do this. Yeah. You know, because yeah. I, I was so, always so up against a wall with people. They just, they just don't think of you as a as a guitar player. Yeah. You know, and they they think of you as a singer songwriter. So in the beginning, I would never even sing. That's exactly what I did. Um, because I didn't want to be looked at like, oh, like a singer songwriter. You know, oh, how cute she writes about. Like, ah! I know it drives me insane. But um, <laughs> but then when my band started to like do harmonies and everything, and that's when I sort of got um, more into singing and a little more open about it and not have to worry about the, oh, like she's like, oh, how cute. You know? Even when I played with Natalie Merchant, I, I felt like she wanted us to sing background vocals, and I didn't even want to do that. Yeah, I didn't I, want to at the beginning. Yeah. Then now, I love. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's like, I, it's such a huge part of, my experience now is just like playing and, and being centered and singing against. It's kind of like a counterbalance yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really love having the two things mm-hmm. to play with against each other. In the beginning, I felt like if people were giving me an attitude or something, I would give them an attitude back. But now, I just do my work. I'm setting up my guitar. I'm setting up my and thing. And you let them see for themselves. Exactly. Yeah. I like. There's nothing to prove anymore. I had so much to prove before. Yeah, so. when I was first started too. Right. <laughs> when you but first started when you were 10. Like, but it's like it's been longer. Wow. But, yeah. yeah. When you're 10 and 16, it's like six whole years of your childhood sort of. Yeah. I've known since I was 12 that I wanted to be a musician. That, that's my next question actually is, um, when did you realize that like, or did you even realize that music was what you wanted to do? Um, when I was like first starting to play the piano, when I was really young, um, my parents told me that I was obsessed with it, that I would like constantly play, and you know I'd hear something on on the TV and I'd like figure it out. And and I remember writing in my journal like I'm going to be the best piano player at Carnegie Hall. At that point, I loved classical music and I loved the experience, yeah. but it. I wasn't really thinking about what I wanted to do, what I wanted to be. I felt really blessed at, you know, 18, 19, 20, that I was like, this is absolutely what I'm going to do. Commitment is the most freeing thing in the world. Who knew? (laughs) It is, though. You make an absolute choice. Yeah, I'm 100% committed to my band. It's nice to know that, like, every day, like, that's what comes first to me, like, it makes it really hard to go through high school <laughs> because I know what I want to do and everybody around me is still sort of figuring it out. Yeah. But I've known like for um, four years, oh, four years, it's not that much. But it's, Yeah, it's you've only trip. had four sets of four years. So, so, so a big chunk yeah, of it's a quarter of my life. People are kind of surprised when I can make that decision to sort of like be. So dedicated. Yeah, yeah. And it's not even a choice anymore. It's kind of like I have to. Yeah. Um, because it's what I'm drawn to. It's like kind of like my calling yes. or something, but it, Absolutely. yeah, that's how I feel about it. And that's so blessed. Yeah, yeah, I'm extremely lucky.